What's up guys, Felix here from Vemify. In this tutorial I will show you how you can use our burning transitions in Final Cut Pro. Let's dive into the timeline. First of all, you have to import your downloaded folder. Therefore, you can make a right click here in this project window and click on import media or you can go to file and say import media. Now you have to look where you have located your downloaded folder. So in my case, it's on my desktop. Go to the burning transition folder here, this one, and select the main folder and click on import selected. And as you can see here in your project window, you have all your burning transition files imported correctly. Okay, now let's create our first transition. Check out your timeline and look for a cut where you want to apply a transition. In my case, I will use this one here, these two clips for a nice burning transition cut. What you have to do is to bring the second clip here on top of the other clip, so something like this. Now we have to look for a transition that you want to apply. Let's say we use here the burning transition number five and drag and drop this file on top of the two clips. You have to make sure that the overlapping clip here has the same length like your transition on top. Okay, you can see it right here. All our clips came with an alpha channel already, but we want to create a transition between our footage, between these two clips. Therefore, you have to select your burning transition here on top, go here to the effect controls and change the blend mode from normal to silhouette alpha. The silhouette alpha mode uses all the data of the burning transition file and transfers these alpha data to the clips below. The problem is that the alpha data transfers to both clips here underneath. But we want to apply the silhouette alpha effect only on this clip here. So therefore you have to select both the burning transition file and the first clip here, make a right click and create a new compound clip. Now you will notice that the flames, that the fire effect is not visible anymore. But no panic. So here's the last step to complete our burning transition. You have to grab the same burning transition that you've applied here in this compound. Drag and drop this on top of this compound sequence and this clip here. And go to the blending mode and say screen. But notice, the compound clip has already the cool fire sound effects included. To make sure that you don't have duplicated audio content here, so you have to mute it on your compound clip or on this clip here. Therefore, you can go to this DB line here and mute this. And if you want to bring up the intensity of your flames here, you can easily duplicate this file here and bring this on top, how often you want. So select Alt on your keyboard and drag and drop this above. On top of these cool burning transitions, you will receive these uh, dollar bill burns. For an example, drag and drop this here at the beginning of this clip. And as you can see, they came already with an alpha channel, so you don't have to do anything in post. Yeah, that's it for our burning transitions. Feel free to contact us if you have further questions and hear you soon, Felix from Vemify.